Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is The Medium. Before we jump back into this increasingly eerie-ass game, two quick reminders for you. First, if you're not already, use that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you know when I'm uploading new videos. And secondly, remember, you are an awesome person. So, be awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump in and do this. Okay, so we are in the shoes of Thomas's little alternate self. And we're wandering around the mind of Henry. Oh. Wow. Is there anything on the back of it or anything? No? Literal ration cards for how much meat you can buy at a time. Well, buy. Oh, this is going to involve bad things involving pigs, isn't it? Ooh. I don't think I want to be caught by that light. Don't you hide from me! Hmm. I don't have the option to do a stealth walk either. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Go, go, go across, go across, go across, get across. Ooh, the slow jog thing kind of sucks. There Fuck. you are. Nope. Where are you, boy? Go across, go across. Come here. No. I don't know who you are or why you're screaming at me, but I am smart enough to figure out I probably don't want to just come over to you. I know you're here. You've been a very bad boy. I'm not able to use any of the spirit power things. Ooh. Well, that was good timing on my part. Completely by accident. Hygienic place in the world. <laughs> so, what exactly was hunting me with a giant flashlight, no less? segment. Hooray. Yep, just walk straight across, dude. You got this. Let's go 
over here. in there. What am I supposed to get out of that, though? guy like raised in a butcher shop? Steady hand, even motionless against the ground. Raised to be a butcher? I don't know. Where are you, boy? Steady hand, even motionless against the grain. Always against Apparently right at the edge of your aim. Steady hand, even motionless. Oh, is this Henry guy, is he afraid of his dad? Maybe? Or a father figure that was in his life at the time? That was somehow involved in a butcher shop? Sounds a little bit like Mark Hamill. I know it's not, but just something in the way that, especially there at the end of it, the way he enunciates on boy, it just, I don't know, it gives me Mark Hamill vibes. Like evil Mark Hamill, not fun Mark Hamill. Joker Mark Hamill, not uh, Luke Skywalker Mark Hamill. That's good. See how easy it is when you do as you're told. Okay. Patriotism is stronger than blood. What? Not often do we see patriotism of such quality as was displayed during these past weeks by Senior Constable Henry Wilk. Simple officer of the Civic Police, Wilk showed his commitment to building a righteous tomorrow of the People's Republic by rejecting the shackles of his criminal kinship. His daring investigation into the now infamous meat scandal led to a number of arrests, including one Jacob Wilk, Henry's own father. Okay, so it was his dad, not his son. The irregularities uncovered by Officer Wilk included corruption, theft of high-quality meat products, and replacing them for lesser ones. So it's not even, like, outright theft. It's just, I guess, fraud of replacing them with lesser quality meats. <laughs> Apart from Jacob Wilk, numerous other culprits have been apprehended, including four directors of the socialized meat trade and several store managers. Trials to commence this coming Thursday. If the accused are found guilty of their crimes, they will most likely face execution by hanging. When asked for comment, Officer Henry Wilkes' response was simple. I only did what felt just. Truly the words of a patriot. Dude, you're going to get... What is it? At least five people... Who knows how many, but at least five potentially hung for corruption and 
substituting high quality meat products for lesser quality. Holy crap. Okay, you. Mm. Must be really proud of that, huh? Just his ID card. There's not a whole lot to it, really, that I can see. Actually, wait, I didn't check it with inside. Is there anything, any glowy things on it? Nope. Okay. And that's it. That's all that was in there. I just. Seriously gonna turn your dad in for something like that? You want me to feel sorry for you, Henry? Let's see how that works out. Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be any stopping him in the more quintessential standard way. I think you're gonna end up having to do something that's gonna be a little bit less fun. See any other tape wheels? Okay. Oh, the door's locked. Of course. Is there anything else that I can open? Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? Sorry, Vilk. I've been saying Wilk. <laughs> Straight to the point. Vilk. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you, it stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. Okay. Interesting. Days at work, otherwise I hold you accountable. He didn't tell you what kind of work you're going to be doing, though. Like, isn't that kind of an important thing to know about before you just blindly agree to start doing something? Or was that one of those, I'm going to make you an offer you don't have a choice but to agree to kind of things? Make you an offer you can't refuse. Yeah. That's more of an Italian thing than a Polish thing, but I guess it could go either way. I assume Poland has organized crime families. I mean, it was the USSR, so the Russian mob was probably involved somehow. Or I'm completely wrong, and just speaking out of my ass, because, you know, that happens too. What is this thing? The kaiju monster from Cloverfield? 
underrated movie, by the way. Like, there's there's a lot of it that's pretty terrible, especially the shaky cam aspect. But the few times you actually get to see the monster in that, excellent movie. Very slow jog up and around. Oh, wait, hang on. There's something here. You ever heard of Neva? Special assignment for Major Henry Vilk. Person of interest has been found at the Neva Workers Resort near Krakow. Local investigators had reported of a strange case involving the painter classified. Person was found alive but in a vegetative state. Foul play was suspected, but examination didn't show signs of brain trauma. Possible connection to the Gemini case. Consult the classified files. Okay, so this would have been Richard when Thomas pumped him into a catatonic state. Okay. Keep it clean, keep it quiet. This is what we've been training you for. Note, I strongly recommend that you acquaint yourself with Soviet scientist notes we acquired during Classified in 1950. You've been granted access to archives entry number 1138. This is for your eyes only, Vilk. Dig in. Report to your case officer for further briefing. Huh. Okay. So Thomas tripped up and they spotted him because of that. What's this? Test subject blank. Session number 42. Subject continues to manifest strong supernatural powers. He claims that another blank is talking to him, showing visions. Working theory, suspected connection to blank, possibly established as the result of a near-death experience. More tests necessary to confirm the split theory. Okay. I'm wondering what it is that Thomas is allegedly connected to. Assuming that Thomas is test subject 42. That's a very big boy. I hope I don't have to fight that. There's already one demon running around in this game. I don't need a second one. Ah. Another piece of paper. Weird. Test subject blank. Session 43. Today's session halted prematurely due to an incident in the test chamber. While administering prescribed substances, lead scientist Dr. Blank came into skin-to-skin -skin contact with the subject. Blank was promptly hospitalized. Despite showing no signs of physical trauma, he fell into a vegetative state from which he is yet to recover. Further sessions have been halted indefinitely. Ooh. So skin-to-skin -skin contact allows Thomas to do his little attack. Number 44, reminder for today's rescheduled session. Despite increased dosages, the subject remains extremely dangerous and needs to be restrained both physically and mentally for the duration of the test. Heightened security measures apply. Oh, okay. That sounds like fun. There's always balance beam stuff going on. Yep, big monster running Fuck past underneath. Work. Gotta watch my step. Come on, don't fall off. Especially don't fall off like eight inches away from where you're supposed to be, anyways. That's just embarrassing. Any more 
little case note things. sound big and tough except for the problem where now you have to crawl down on top of the thing that you just dropped on it. So if it didn't hurt, you're going to be the one getting hurt. So it might actually not have been the smartest idea. I get the desire to want to talk tough, but mm, might not be the right time for it. Another balance beam section. Yes, very too close. Come on, dude. Stand up. There we go. I see why I want to pull this towards me. Sure, we're supposed to be looking for. Can't get me up here, can you? Dude, you're literally on a balance beam right now. Maybe don't piss that thing off. It might actually have a way to get. Got you to right where I want it. Time to put you out of your misery. Stay the fuck down! Okay. Here's hoping that actually worked. If not, you're gonna be eating your words. And I really hope you can run faster than you've been running. Not, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt. What is this? Mom and Daddy and me. Hmm. Okay. sure if that's a good idea. I have work on my mind. I see. And again, maybe I should. Do you think I should? Whatever you wish, dear. Is your wife on drugs? It sounds like your wife's on drugs, dude. To be that fully disassociated from everything? Also, I mean, I understand you have work on your mind, but, like, you seriously can't say goodbye to your kid? Simon? Where are you, boy? Well, I mean, if, if that's the best you can do, then maybe I kind of understand. Dad? Yeah, there, champ. Are you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, we can go fishing. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes Daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? 
Probably not, but I... sure. Yes, father. Got a disabled kid and a who likes fishing apparently, and a wife who is very disassociated from everything and is possibly doing some kind of some kind of habit to keep herself that way. I don't know what she would be on. There's quite a few options, but. That's right, kid. Just come to me. I'll put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster, it's... Don't worry about the monster, kid. I'll deal with it. I'll put it down for good. Not if it puts you down first. What did you say? <laughs> Theory was right. Remember? It's him. It was always him. Tried to kill us. What did you do to her? What did you do to Lillian? Not very good at tracking him. That's a good one. I'll marry him. Forgot her own daddy. Then who was it? Who killed her? I saw her ghost. What happened to her? It's me. 
it up. darkest pit of hell that we can find an access door for. Thomas Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? To me. Pretty heavy twist right there. Also, can just random side note, but can we all appreciate how amazing that flashlight she found is? Thing's been on for how long? Running an incandescent bulb that's Soviet era for on, I guess, whatever their equivalent to AA batteries would have been. For how many hours now? And it still hasn't even dimmed, much less gone out? And that's after it was found, however many decades later, sitting in a trash pile somewhere. Like, that thing's freaking amazing. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here because it's already run a little bit over time. And also because we just got a whole lot of heavy information thrown at us all at one time. So it turns out my theory about Marianne and Lily being sisters was accurate. So I don't know the age range for them. But now we've also found out that Thomas was Marianne's father. Which I guess makes sense because she's able to do the same thing that he was able to. Albeit their powers work in a different way. So yeah, it's, it's definitely getting more and more intriguing. And now we're kind of left with what happened to Lily, a.k.a. Sadness, to mutilate her to the point like she is now. Like, because whatever happened to her, it didn't just 
happened to her physical body, it took a chunk out of her soul, too. Her spirit form, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm very curious what happened to her to do that kind of damage. And to find out who this murderer is. And for that matter, what happened to Thomas? Like, what? He seems like a pretty darn capable guy. Why didn't he stop whatever it was that was going to take out Lily? You know? But I, I'm hoping we'll find that out next episode. I don't know if we will or not, but I'm hoping. So if you enjoyed this episode, remember to give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. And if you want to find out, like I do, what's going to happen in the next episode, or any of the other videos that I upload, well, there's an easy way to do that. And that is subscribe and use the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.